Okay, so I've already applied a primer. I used Urban Decay Primer Potion. You can use whichever one you want. I'm now going to take a Senna eyeshadow. This one is in Lavender Smoke. It is a matte eyeshadow. It's very, very pretty. And it looks like this. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, this is a L'Oreal one, and I'm just going to apply it to the first kind of half inwards of my eyelid, all over. You don't have to be too precise with this because that's not really kind of the point. It's kind of supposed to be a bit lived in, if you see what I mean. So you can kind of be a little bit messy with it if you like. As I said, kind of on messily. It doesn't really matter. We'll sort it out in a minute. I'm now going to take another Senna eyeshadow. This one is in After Hours. And this one is kind of, it's very unusual. Um, I don't use it that often, but I don't really know why because it's really, really pretty. It's kind of like... Um, a pebble grey with a little bit of a navy undertone. It's very unusual. So if I put them side by side, you'll be able to see the difference. So I'm going to take After Hours, same brush, and I'm just going to put that at the outer portion. And do the same thing, pretty much. It's not, uh, it's not rocket science. I wanted to do this look because, um, well, first of all, I thought the colour combination was kind of different because you don't see too many kind of matte purpley tutorials about. But um, I wanted to do this kind of look because I was looking at uh, Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite, her video um, recently. It was like a her, like go-to winter makeup look. And she used totally different colours, but she said she really liked her makeup to look a bit like eerie and a bit lived in. And I thought that was really cool because, I mean, I tend to be very precise with my eye makeup. But um, it kind of gets a little bit samey. So I thought it would be kind of nice to try something that's a little bit, I don't know, kind of... Uh, rockerish, I guess you could say. Kind of an outdated phrase, but yeah, you know what I mean. So I just really like the fact that she said she really likes her makeup to look a little bit lived in. And I thought this kind of colour combination was perfect for that because it's kind of unusual, but still smoky at the same time. I've actually been doing the look that she did. She's just been using like um, Max Texture eyeshadow, which is like a brown. I've been doing that and just putting it all over there, just using one colour, and it's actually really, really pretty. I love the effect it gives. Um, I might do a tutorial on that very soon. Yeah, so I thought that's why I would do this, because it's kind of like lived in and smoky and a little bit messy. And it's something a little bit different for me. So, we're just putting that after hours on. Just kind of blending it over. Now, I am going to take the fluffy end of the Naked 2 brush. I'm actually going to take the Naked 2 palette. You don't have to have this. This is like an optional step. But I just kind of want this to be like a blending colour just so I get this nice kind of gradation. Because even though it's kind of like a lived in look, I don't want it to just, I don't want it to just stop there if you see what I mean. So I'm going to take Tease, which is this like minky, kind of light lavender colour. It's not really lavender, it's more of a mink. So I'm just going to take a bit of that on here and use that as like a transitional colour. If you like, as I said, this is not really, you don't have to do this, but I just thought it, would, I just thought it was kind of pretty. So I'm going to take Senna's Nirvana eye colour. This is apparently matte, but you know what it has, as you can see, it has a slight sheen to it, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on there, but um, it's such a pretty colour. This is like my favourite highlight colour. I think it's really, really pretty, so I'm just going to put that on. You could use Booty Call from the... Um, Naked 2 palette, if that's what you have. Kind of a similar colour. This one's a little bit less frosty. Naked 2 brush. And I'm going to just do what I did on the upper lid underneath the lower lash line. But I'm going to bring it down quite far and kind of smoke it out a little bit. Just don't think it kind of matches the rest of the eye. So I'm going to take a lavender smoke. Put that under there. So quite far down underneath the eye. And then I'm going to take after hours. Pop that along the outer portion. I took a little bit of um, frost pigment from MAC. This is just a little decanted pot. And uh, I took the Urban Decay 24-7 blending brushes. It doesn't really matter. Brush it, is. it really doesn't matter. I took a little bit of that, just on the edge of the end of the brush, rather edge of the brush, end of the brush, and I just put that in my inner corner, and that's kind of what gives this like little bit of light in here. Now the reason I used frost pigment is because it has a purple, like a distinct, you can see, purpley undertone. 
Now for the uh, liner for the top lash line, I'm going to use the Urban Decay, again, 24-7 waterproof liquid liner in Revolver. This is beautiful, this is what's up here. And I'm going to just do my regular liner, pretty much. You can use a black, but I just thought it would just be a little bit different. Now I'm going to take a black liner, I'm going to tight line and put this in my waterline as well. I'm just going to use the Topshop Kajal in charcoal because it's my favourite and it stays on very, very long time. Okay, so now on to the cheeks. I am going to be using two cream products. I'm going to use Senna's Cheeky Blush in Bordeaux, which is very, very pretty. It looks like this. I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this, it's a very pretty colour. Um, you may find you need to kind of build on it a little bit. Uh, and then for the highlight, I'm actually going to use the Luna Twilight Mortal Glow Blushing Cream in Swoon. This is so pretty, this. I'm not going to use the, it looks like this. I'll show you before I start babbling on. I'm not going to use the gold bit, I'm going to use like, you see the kind of like iridescent lilac -y bit in there? I'm going to use that. like pop a little bit of that on I'm gonna use the Milani lip flash in flashy this is very pretty looks like this That is the finished look. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I have no idea because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of different. I really, really like it. I love the lip combination. You don't have to do like a mad lip combination like this. You could do like a, like a pink or a nude or anything like that really, but I just wanted something a little bit different and maybe, you know, if you are going out for Valentine's Day or, um, you know, I don't know, but it, it could be like a little bit of an unconventional Valentine's Day look. I don't know, it just depends what you like. So I know not everybody likes nudes and neutrals and, you know, pink lips and nude lips. I know not everybody goes for that. So I thought it'd be nice to give like a different option for possibly a Valentine's Day look. I don't know, you could wear this club and you could wear this anywhere. But um, yeah, you just kind of have, have to have the uh, confidence to pull it off. But it is very, very pretty. Very dark eyes, very bright lips. Um, I don't think the lips are coming up as bright as they actually are. I'll take a picture and you'll be able to see that. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I will list the products that I used um, in this tutorial down below in the description box. So if you missed anything, you can go down there. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, everyone.